as we all know from the news, there were many failures of hydraulic structures around the world, which caused hundreds of deaths and severe damages to our infrastructures. For example, a small part of concrete on the spillway of Oregon Dam was lifted due to extreme pressures in a flooding event. And more than a hundred of people lost their lives due to a dam failure in 2019 in Laos. But some of these catastrophic failures might have been prevented if they had been properly designed before the construction. To better design our hydraulic structures, we need to understand the flow behaviors inside them, for example, the extreme forces and the flow profiles, which can provide us guidelines on how to design stable structures that can effectively contain the water and prevent failures during intensive rainfall. We always see white water in these structures, especially in the large ones, and the white water is what we call air water flows. In air water flows, the free surface is not just a steady and tranquil boundary, but a mixture of air and water, and that is why we can see white water. The free surface of air water flows strongly fluctuates in three dimensions, and air consistently entrains into the flow through the free surface. So far, we have limited understanding of the free surface, but we believe that there is a potential link between the free surface and some important factors that we need to consider when we design the structures, for example, the pressures and the needs, the flow velocities, and the air bubbles in the flood. Previously, we tried to understand the free surface using traditional instruments, but these instruments were only applied at single locations, so there's still a lot of information missing. Recently, we applied a state-of-the-art instrument, LiDAR, to measure the entire free surface profile. What LiDAR can do is to scan the free surface continuously at very high spatial resolutions and frequencies, which can provide us very detailed free surface features. Because LiDAR has never been used before in air water flows, so firstly, we validated LiDAR as a reliable instrument in air water flows. Then we applied LiDAR in a large dam model. We reconstructed the entire three-dimensional free surface profile and analyzed the fluctuations at the free surface. We also combined LiDAR from the top with the instruments that measured pressure and the needs and the air bubbles in the flow simultaneously, trying to find a potential link between the free surface and the internal flow properties. And this makes it possible for us to just use one single LiDAR instrument in the future to get information remotely, even in the real hydraulic structure.